Yo, yo, what it do? It's your boy Rico Got Drip. I'm about to do a little mixing, a little beat mixing uh, video real quick. Show you what I do. And I'm only going to use the uh, the SSL channel strip by Waves. You feel me? But uh, let's do this. So here goes the beat. Um, I'll play it real quick. But so obviously it needs some balance. Um, so the first thing I do usually uh, is I group everything and I bring it down. I brought it down more than usual just because I got my headphones a little bit louder because I'm not trying to ca uh, crank the preamp on my interface. But uh, yeah, so usually I group it. Obviously, once I got like all the like how I want to beat the sound and stuff. Um, so, yeah, let's start with the 808. So usually I start with the 808 and kick, try to get them to work together. I don't usually ever do any processing on the 808 just cause um, all these like sounds have been like mangled and stuff already. So I feel like there really, there's no point. And plus everybody has the same sound. So um, eventually you get like everyone, I feel like everybody has a version that's already like been EQ'd and stuff. So no point. So let's just like leave that untouched. And then usually I like my kicks loud. So literally I'll just raise in volume. Sounds crazy, but that's really all I do. Um, and then since I, I use this kick all the time, it's usually my go-to. Uh, I know that it's like super punchy, like in the low end. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it definitely has like a lot of low end in it. So I usually cut like, I don't know, let's do that. now so now it's like even me just cutting out the low end makes it punch more with the uh, 808 and it doesn't sound so like you know poopy with it but um and then also usually on kicks i add like between like 1k 1.5 i add a little bit probably like kind of like a medium like q size like this um i never try to go too well maybe actually i'll go a little wide so I kind of like, I like to boost like max when it comes to EQs to listen to frequencies or like, um, I guess areas where it sounds, where I like where it sounds, if that makes sense. Like, so basically I just like boost frequencies that I like to hear. And then let's see. So like right there, it seems to knock. So then obviously I'll bring it back down. So then before you cue, and then obviously there's like a little bit of a volume change, which is fine, like, but it's not like crazy. So, I mean, if you wanted to, you can just bring your output down on the uh, channel strip. But uh, yeah, and then usually I never compress kicks, especially like with like rap or like not rap, but like, you know, like um, just like program stuff because really there's no reason to there's no real volume change or anything everything's so like perfect and steady obviously now if you did like a velocity like you start messing with like velocity and stuff then sure but um for the most part there's really no point like just just keep that shit simple and then i'll bring in the clap usually i uh match the clap with a kick it's like a good starting point for me and then usually there's no like low end information for the most part when it comes to the like claps and stuff but I'll take some out just in case. And then I'll bring hi hat. Um, <clears throat> hi hat usually always lives like wherever I brought it down, just because like you can definitely get too loud with it without noticing. So I kind of just leave it where it's at. And then I always pan it to the left just a little bit. Um, and I do take out low end on hi hats just because they do have some low end information, whether you hear it or not. Like especially when you're like on subs and stuff, you can hear that shit. Like. Kind of crazy so yeah i usually just cut out like whatever 100 nothing too crazy um especially with like when you start pitching your hi-hats down and stuff then you start like creating uh low end stuff that wasn't there before like originally and we'll bring in that chop snare and then i do cut out low end from this one i do have another version of this snare like i was saying earlier like you end up 
getting stuff that's been EQ'd and stuff. Like I have like three different versions of this, and this one I like the best because it doesn't sound um, EQ'd like on its own, like super thin. Like the other one I have it sounds really thin already. Like it literally sounds like like that. So I like this one because <clears throat> it's got like some bottom to it. So I'll probably cut out like from there. Yeah, it sounds good. And then uh, I'll bring in my first sound, which is the piano. And since this is so like being played so high up, it doesn't have that much low end. But on the attacky parts of it, you can definitely hear it. Like some low end stuff, so. sounds good and then usually 300 is always like a frequency almost in any like <clears throat> um sound for the most part where you need to you can take some stuff out it's always usually like a problem frequency for sure sounds good and then i just have the compressor on it's just like i literally just put it at three to one and yeah and it's like the threshold's at 1.5 and it's already like compressing 3 dB. And then I have a uh, fast attack just cause I usually try to like tame like the transients on piano cause it's like super attacky. And then I'll just leave the release where it's at. And then maybe I'll add some like 16K. It's like my favorite frequency. Just to brighten up a little bit. And then let's bring another song. Filter this a little bit. Because I don't want all that high end. I don't want like the, the high stuff just because I know like the vocals need to live there and also like the hi hats and even like a little bit of like the snare. I just want to give room for the vocal, like just thinking ahead of time. And plus it made it more mono, which is cool. Like, I kind of want that for this. It gives it room too. Instead of everything just being so spread out all the time, sometimes it's nice to just bring back stuff, like bring it back in the middle. But I also I am doing some separation um, down here. And then I have halftime on it <clears throat> at like 50%. And then I have like a little micro shift, uh, which is cool. I usually try to add those like on roads or like pads or something sounds pretty cool cool so now i got like my balance and stuff so now let's do some like master bus processing i'll just do like stick with the with the theme and use ssl again usually i just use the g bus and like a pull tech i already have like 16k going uh i got some low end stuff going at like 40 hertz usually like my go-to like starting point if I'm gonna add um, see what this, and I'm also oh, looks like I'm taking out like I don't know like some 300 or something yeah like it sounds like really dull now which is fine like I know because it's just because like your ear is getting used to the high end and like that low end boost but if you really listen to it it just sounds like super like boring it kind of brings it to life and then i do have a little bit of compression going because like i said i used the g bus but i left it at like a two to one and like the threshold i brought brought down a little bit because that's like cranked and then even at zero like i feel like the kick is getting a little sucked then uh yeah that's usually what i do just something simple but yeah that's pretty much like what i do on every beat for the most part um but uh but yeah so holla at your boy at rico got drip on everything on twitter instagram and facebook and uh follow your boy also i'm gonna drop a a link to waves uh if you want i think like 10 percent off i'll leave a link in the bio and then hit the link and then support your boy and support this channel you feel me but uh yeah holla at your boy let me know if you guys want any other videos share like subscribe
do your thing. And don't forget to hit the link in the bio. Deuces.